All right, guys, this will be my first video of my stealth camper trailer. It is a 6x12, kind of small for camping, but I did get this to tow behind my Jeep. And six feet wide is perfect for me to see around both sides of the camper going down the highway. And 12 feet long is about as big as I would want to pull with a Jeep. Pretty much gutted this camper after I bought it. Replaced all the plywood with a quarter inch thick plywood and put two layers of half inch foam board similar to what you see here. It is well insulated. I don't know if any of you have worked with a trailer like this, but you really learn and understand how it was put together if you take it apart. There is not one single square dimension in this trailer if you break it down, which makes it very difficult on everything you'll do inside. First, let me discuss some of the security issues that I came across when I took this trailer apart. I don't know if you'll notice, but these hinges are held on with a Torx security bolt. And after taking it apart, I realized that these bolts do not have any nuts on them at all from the factory. So if you're contemplating getting one of these trailers, taking it apart enough to secure these hinges is something that I would recommend. Not that these Torx, security Torx fasteners are easy to get a hold of and very common, but if you had this, it would take you not more than a few minutes to take these hinges off and get into the back of this trailer. Another security item that I saw, although anything can be broken into, why make it easy? This side door has a regular camper style door latch on it with a deadbolt which is fantastic. I love it. But one other thing I noticed was that anybody with a cordless drill and a star bit can zip these bolts off the outside of this frame and drop the entire door frame out in just a matter of minutes, making your lock completely useless. What I've done since I bought this trailer was actually secured the inside of this frame with screws all the way around and those are not accessible when the door is closed and again I'm sure you can break into this door but why make it easy this will be my first video of some of the design aspects of this camper Right now, it is being built as a, as a stealth camper. It has no windows in it for this video. I am undecided on whether I will be putting windows in it at some point. Um, again, it all depends on how stealthy you want your camper to be. Um, one other aspect of this trailer that I 
wanted to make certain it had was a place for two people to sleep, a small kitchen, and also a bathroom. I've not seen too many 6x12 trailers that actually have all three of those components. A bathroom, a kitchen, and a place to sleep. Um, actually, I've also left 24 inches of this camper right down the center, which has already come in handy to move some furniture. So this camper in itself is not useless for moving things that need to be moved. Unlike a regular purchased camper that really has no use for moving furniture. One thing you'll notice is that I did narrow down this door on the outside. And the only reason I can tell you I did that was because I needed the interior space. Um, the door is 32 inches wide, which is much wider than any standard camper door would be. Um, so I brought this wall out to make it a 22 inch door. Because I needed the room in what's going to be the bathroom. As we go around the back, we'll see this is one of what I call the bed boxes. It's a six foot two inch long bed, 24 inches wide. And it does have a mate on the other side. And there will also be a 24 inch leaf that will go in the middle in the evenings. I've also started on some overhead compartments in the sleeping area, which have no face frames installed yet and no lighting. There will also be some speakers mounted in these. These are just small overhead compartments also have a TV mount for a 24 inch wide TV. The kitchen also has an overhead compartment. The sink is much larger than it needs to be. And honestly, the decision was made because of money. This is a very inexpensive contractor sink. They're only like $50 uh, compared to over $100 for a sink that's less than half that size. So I decided to squeeze in a double sink in this kitchen. Across from the kitchen will be the microwave. Below that will be the refrigerator and below that will be a window air C, AC unit excuse me that will have its intake and exhaust plumbed through the floor water tank is a 26 gallon fresh water tank with 12 volt pump. Only a single sink will be plumbed. The other sink will probably just be a dish drying rack. And the drawers were all made from scrap plywood. The drawers themselves do have some dividers in them for dishes. 
which we've already purchased. Dividers for coffee cups. And dividers for grill equipment. And on this trailer, since every inch counts in a 6x12 camper, I've actually made a small drawer below the kick panel. Which comes out around your feet. But drawer space for a small micro kitchen is pretty abundant. Small garbage can with recycling. And also some added counter space if needed in the kitchen when preparing food. And again, the front of this camper will be the bathroom. This will be the bathroom closets. The very nose of this camper will be the shower. And the corner here by the door will be where the bathroom or where the toilet will be, which will probably be a composting toilet. Still undecided on the shower, whether I'm going to make a complete wet bath setup, or whether I will try and fit a shower pan of some kind in the V-nose of the floor. But that'll be for another video. Probably will be replacing this vent with an electric fan version. Again, feel free to leave comments as long as they're constructive. I am not a carpenter or electrician. I've spent as much time thinking about the design of this camper as I have been putting it together. The bed mattress will be a half inch foam rubber mat with a four inch memory foam mat mattress on top of it. TV will also come out roughly in the center of the hallway.
trailer is a perfect size for my needs. It pulls very well behind the Jeep. Until next time, as soon as I've made some more progress, I'll put a new video on YouTube. I'd appreciate your comments and constructive criticism, and until next time, thank you.